This is a demonstration of a QAC test kit using endpoint ID procedures. The first step is to collect your sample. Before you begin your test, it's important to rinse the vial three times with the sample to be tested. This minimizes the chance of contamination from a previous titration. Hold the vial close to eye level while pouring to ensure you have an accurate sample. Place the vial on a level surface and bend down to eye level to verify that you have collected an accurate sample. The slightest change in sample size will lead to inaccurate results. Using a white background while performing your test will provide contrast to help you better see the color changes. A white cabinet tray or a paper towel can provide that contrast. The next step is to add three drops of sulfuric acid 0.5 normal. The bottle contains a dropper tip, so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. Swirl the vial to mix the reagents. The solution will remain clear. Next, add five drops of QAC indicator solution. The bottle contains a dropper tip, so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. Swirl the vial to mix the reagents. The solution will turn green. The next step is to perform the titration using QAC titrating solution. It's important to make sure you have the proper titrant and sample size for your test. Hold the bottle vertically as you add the titrant one drop at a time, counting the number of drops. Swirl the vial after each drop to properly mix. The test is complete when the sample color has changed from green to brown. Record the number of drops used to reach the endpoint. 